Hello, in this video, uh, we're going to start looking at some chemistry in chapter 22 of our Wade textbook. And we're going to, uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a little introduction to reactions at alpha carbons. Okay, so up to this point, uh, we've been, uh, especially the last few chapters, we've been looking at the carbon yield a lot. And uh, in terms of the reactivity that's been going on at the carbonyl compound, we've, uh, we've seen that the oxygen has acted as, as a Bronsted base, okay? And we will frequently do proton transfers uh, with, this, with this oxygen. And we've also seen that this carbon uh, has, has acted um, as an electrophile. So it's electrophilic. So when we um, draw elementary mechanistic steps involving this carbon, it's usually a nucleophilic addition step where a nucleophile is, is attacking here. Okay. However, what we haven't talked about yet up to this point, but we're going to talk a lot about now, is this carbon. And this, this carbon is called the alpha carbon. Okay. And we're going to see a lot of Greek letters uh, in, in this chapter. The first is alpha. So if you imagine we had a long carbon chain going on here, this would be the carbonyl carbon. And then going out from that, we would just go through the Greek alphabet. And first the alpha carbon, the next one would be the beta carbon. Then we can have a gamma carbon. And, and uh, if we keep going further, we could get to delta. And so we may see compounds uh, such as alpha, beta, unsaturated ketones, uh, and that would have a CC double bond uh, involving the alpha and beta carbons. And we may see something where we talk about the gamma carbon. Okay, so just a little terminology there. What's important for us to know in terms of reactivity is that the alpha carbon is slightly acidic. Okay, it's going to act as a Lewis acid. Uh, it's not very acidic. Uh, it has a pKa of maybe 20 to 25, depending on, on what our R group is here. But that's enough to do some important chemistry. And so we're going to look at that chemistry in this chapter. So uh, one thing that we can do uh, with this position, if we react uh, with this under acidic conditions, so say... Uh, H3O plus and H2O, uh, we can uh, do what's called a, an acid catalyzed tautomerization to get this enol. All right, and we'll talk about um, tautomer, or I'll look at, I'll talk about tautomerizations in the in the next video. Okay, uh, alternatively. Um, we could react with a, with a base, and this base, the bases we'll probably see most commonly uh, in this chapter will be like hydroxide, so say sodium hydroxide, or maybe sodium methoxide or sodium ethoxide, uh, or lithium diisopropyl amid, some sort of base, and we'll, we'll get into what those bases are more later. And that can deprotonate this. And sometimes this is an equilibrium that favors this. Sometimes it favors that. Okay. And to erase that. And that will make something called an enolate ion. Um, Okay, so enolate. All right. Okay, so what's important about these, um, once we use acid or base to remove one of those protons, it unveils this kind of, um, this new characteristic of, uh, of the alpha carbon in that it is nucleophilic. And that's important to almost all the chemistry we're going to see um, 
in this chapter is that uh, this will be acting as a nucleophile. Okay, and I'm going to use the enolate as an example. Okay, uh, what can happen next is that this enolate is going to react with some electrophile. Okay, and um, depending on which resonance form you have of, of this, you could draw this different ways. Okay, and uh, we're either going to do like some sort of SN2 reaction or a nucleophilic addition, um, uh, SN2 mechanistic step, uh, nucleophilic addition elementary mechanistic step. Okay, and uh, that will then give us a product where we have attached this electrophile to the alpha carbon. Okay. And depending on what that electrophile is, it's going to give us the different reactions that we're going to study in this chapter. So if this is Br2, uh, then we're going to do an alpha halogenation. If it's uh, an alkyl halide, we're doing an alpha alkylation. Uh, if it's an aldehyde or a ketone, we're doing an aldol reaction or an aldol condensation. And if it's an, uh, an ester, uh, then uh, we're doing a clasin condensation. Um, and we can even do an alpha beta unsaturated ketone and then we're doing a, a Michael reaction. And now I'm almost to the end of the chapter, so I better stop here. <laughs> so, um, great. So that kind of gives you an overview of, of where we're going. And uh, in the next few lectures, I'm, I'm going to start going to those places. All right. Thanks for watching.